Why is it for blessed and spirits and Native American Indians? Why are we celebrating Halloween? Why are we celebrating Halloween? Denouncer. I know some. I know some of us celebrated Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Oh, I know. I know you celebrated Thanksgiving. I know you did. You know what I'm saying? And in another in another couple of weeks, you will be celebrating Christmas. You will be celebrating Christmas. Cause you're gonna be seeing it. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see it on TV. Well, they're gonna see it on TV, right? They're gonna see it on TV and see those families underneath the trees and they're in their pajama bottoms. You know what I'm saying? And got the and got that ugly ass um that sweater. And a Christmas. You know music. what I mean? The Christmas music. The Christmas music, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the Luther Vandross playing in the background, you know what I'm saying, with the eggnog and, and the Christmas presents and everything. They're going to get compelled to do so. You know what I'm saying? And you know you know the reason why? Because you have been raped into Christmas. Right. right. You, have, you know what I'm saying? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we have been raped into Christmas. We've been raped so long that we celebrate the rapist holidays now. You know what I'm saying? The reason why we celebrate Christmas is because our rapists celebrate Christmas. If you're not going to celebrate Christmas, guess what? Not only am I going to rape you, I'm going to kill you after. Then I'm going to go after your father and I'm going to rape him too. That's how this perverted, this perverted oppressor get down. This is how he's get down. Yo, but bless the spirits in the American Indians, why are we celebrating other people, you know what I'm saying, other, other people's holidays? We are God's chosen people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Guess what? Um, we have we have a we have our own holiday. Hakanika is coming up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hakanika, give it up for Hakanika. That's right. Hakanika is coming up. You know what I'm saying? That's a celebration of you know what I'm saying. We got our temple back from the oppressor. That's right. We was being you know what I'm saying the same thing. Whatever is happening back then is happening now. You know what I'm saying? We had Negroes who was following our oppressor's holidays. I will come. We had Negroes who were following our oppressor's holidays back then on the Greeks. And you had a couple of brothers, like in, you know what I'm saying? I, Shupi K, had been standing up and say, hell goddamn no. We're going to fight you. And we ain't going to eat pork. We ain't going to follow you on Christmas days. We ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? We ain't going to accept that your father become your mother now. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to accept your mother become your father now. We're not going to do that. Right. Because we're not perverted like yourself is at. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But we have to remember this. That's right. We have to remember this. Read that. Proverbs, what is that? Proverbs chapter 9, verse chapter 9, verse 10. You got it? Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Because that's what we're doing. We're celebrating our slave master holidays. That's what we're doing. That is exactly what we're doing. And we forgot about, you know what I'm saying? We forgot about that we are God's chosen people. Because we hard-headed stiff neck. We want to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? We want to be what we want to be. We don't want no structure. We don't want to listen to the Most High God. We all say that we love the Most High God. But we don't follow the Bible. Hell no. Hell no, we don't follow that Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because our slave master say, hey, hey man, you know what I'm saying? Just believe in John 3, 16. Bring your, um, bring your time money in. You're forgiven for everything. Even though, you know what I'm saying, you sold drugs to that pregnant woman. It's all good. But, but we want to celebrate his whole holidays. Read that. Book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen up, blast the Spanish and the American Indian, because everybody said that they fear of the Lord. You claim that you fear the most high God. Right. Yeah, but you fear the most high God. You, you, that's what you claim. Every, every day you claim that. Read on. Salaki. Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let's say that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you fear the, if you fear the Most High God, that would be your, your beginning of wisdom. So you would know not to celebrate these these wicked holidays. But guess who? That's the reason why you don't know that. Because we are broken people. We are broken people. We have been destroyed. We walking around. We still walking around with our oppressors' names on our backs. We still doing that. We still we don't know who we are. You know what I'm saying? But well, guess what? I should be gay. Happy to telling blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians according to, to, to the Bible, you are. We let, you, you let our people know who you are, and we let our people know to fear the most high God. Because it's the beginning of wisdom, read on. And the knowledge of the holy is undeniable. 
understanding. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Because we don't have no understanding. Read that from the top. Romans chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. And the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. So how can we fear the Lord? You know what I'm saying? How can we get that wisdom? How can we get that understanding according to the Bible? You know, you know, guess what? Guess what? We have to come back to the Most High God. Yes, right. And we, we letting you know that you can come to the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? If we fear, you know what I'm saying? If we fear the Most High God, get Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-two. This is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. Bless the Spanish and name American Indian. Ephesians, come, come. Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-two. And I'm letting you know we can do this. We can do this. It can be done. Right. As you can see, the men, you know what I'm saying, the priests and prophets behind me, we have did it. You know what I'm saying? We went into the fear of the Lord and we got the wisdom. And you know what the wisdom was? We got the wisdom and the understanding. And it was go out to those goddamn streets, you know what I'm saying, and tell niggas, bitches, and wetbacks and redskins they are God's chosen people. That's right. They are God's chosen people. Yeah. Go to the poor. But this is what we have to do. And we can do that. Read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. Oh, we got to put off the um, um, concerning the, for, the former conversation. What is the former conversation? The stuff that you used to do. The stuff that you, the stuff that the old conversation that you used to have. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. We used to talk about. We don't. The old man. The what? The old man. Yo, we have to do to put off the what? The old man. It's time to put off that old man. Black suspense in the American Indians. How long? How, how long? You know what I'm saying? How long are we gonna be in this position? Right. How long? You know what I'm saying? How long are we gonna look in the mirror every goddamn day? Step over our drunk uncle. How long? How long are we gonna do it? Right. right. It's about time for that change. That's before right. we can put on, off that old man. That's it's right. About that time. Ah. Uh, one West. Yeah. I'ma do it when you afraid to do it I'ma say what you ain't gonna say I'ma tell you what you need to hear This life, they got us fucked up, man Real fucked up Look Feel me one time Look Yo I know struggle, I know pain I know my people strung off with the dope to cope with the long days I know this place called America I know this place where they deal with us like homeland terrorists I know this place got us fucked up I know this place got us positioned so we never try to stand up I know this place wanna see me sleep And when it come to my people they love to see a black man weep But it's survival of the fittest And when it come to the law best believe we gon' get it Rise Israel, rise Fuck the devil for his lies Fuck the devil for his lives. Rise Israel, rise. Fuck the devil for his lives. Rise Israel, rise.